Welcome back everybody, this is Ulysses, real estate broker in the state of California, and today I'm gonna go over with statistics, with figures, with facts instead of opinions on why you should buy a home this 2024 in the market that we're in. So I'm gonna go over some figures. The current interest rate right now is about 6%. And before some of you start talking smack, put negative comments, and say, Ulysses, you're not a lender, you don't have an MLS license, you shouldn't be talking loans or interest rates. You're right, but I'm a real estate broker and my responsibility and my duty is to educate my community, my consumers, and everybody out there that has dreamed of home ownership. So again, with that being said, the average interest rate right now, we're talking about 6%. Let's say we're looking to buy a house that's 600,000. The payment, roughly with everything included, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, we're gonna be looking at about a $5,500 payment. So far, you guys are with me? Perfect. Here's the thing, rates are gonna drop. They say the feds are gonna drop the rates probably three times before the end of the year. And we're looking at about 4%, 4.5%. Now, before you jump the gun and say, Ulysses, why the hell should I wait or buy now when I can wait and get a lower rate? I'm gonna have a lower payment. You're absolutely right. So far, we're on the same page, right? Beautiful. This is what's gonna end up happening. You're gonna, you're gonna buy at 4%, but that $600,000 house, potentially at the end of the year is gonna cost you $700,000. Now, if you follow my suggestion of buying now when the rates are 6%, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to lock in that purchase price at 600 instead of buying that same house at 700,000. But this is what's gonna happen, which is gonna be beautiful. That $5,500 payment, somewhere around December, you're gonna be able to refinance. And by refinancing, you're gonna lower it to the current rate. That's gonna give you about a $600 monthly savings. If we get that $600 savings times 10 months, which is what we have left in the year, you're looking at about $6,000. Let's be super honest and keep it real. Would you rather spend $6,000 or buy that same, that, that same house for $100,000 more? Some people focus on the rate instead of seeing that if you buy at a lower rate, you're gonna end up buying at a much higher purchase price. Remember, the rate, you could always drop it by refinancing. You wanna secure this. And here's the thing. The price in December may be around 675 to 700, but this doesn't include potential bidding wars. If something's listed at 700, it doesn't mean it's gonna go for 700. It might go for 780. Now you went from 600,000 in late January to 780 by the end of December or January of next year. Don't do that. Again, these are the figures, $5,500. If you buy at, at, at the rate where we're in, you can refinance at the end of the year. That'll give you a savings of about $600. We multiply that times 10 you're gonna be spending $6,000 more with a higher rate. But you're not gonna pay $700,000 or more for the house that you could have secured at $600,000. So if you're serious about buying a home, you have questions, concerns, um, give me a call, shoot me a DM, let's connect. I'd love to kind of guide you through the process of home ownership. I've been doing this for over 18 years. I've helped families just like you that have the same concerns and have the same, I'm gonna wait till the market crashes, I'm gonna wait till the rates drop, and then we're getting advice from people that either never own a house, or somebody that bought a house 40 years ago, and the market is not what it was in the 80s, so uh, shoot me a DM, I'd love to connect with you, and to an amazing 2024.